a Cards with Michael production. Hey YouTube, it's Cards with Michael. Today we're going to be opening a Commander Green collection, non-premium and a premium. Um, we've been seeing some of these openings pop up on the internet and I wanted to do my own. Also just to showcase the difference between the foils and non-foils. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Today's video is sponsored by RC. Thank you so much, RC, one of my long-term fans, and just a generous sponsor of the channel. All right, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and open the Commander Green Premium uh, Non-Foil. Sorry, Commander Green Non-Premium. I don't even know. It's just the one with the non-foils, all right? So we'll go ahead and open it. All right. Okay, remove the little sleeve. Notice there is no Watsi logo or anything on it. And this is, I guess, something that they've done with a lot of these premium products is decided that it wasn't important to put a logo on it because who would ever reseal something like this, right? All right, so there you have it. That's kind of what it looks like. And grab out, right, is there anything in here? Let's see, inside the box. Looks like there's just the barcode. Nice little box. Definitely not a bad box. And um, this product design kind of reminds me of Secret Layer, although this is a little bit hardier. All right, and the cards themselves. We have a Freylise, a Land of Wars Fury, Omnath, Locus of Mana, Bane of Progress, Seaborn Muse, Sylvan Library, Worldly Tutor, Soul Ring, and Command Tower, right? Arts on all these are really, really nice. And we'll just kind of put them to the side right here. All right, now let's open the premium version. Um, this video is not gonna be very long as you guys can imagine. And also it's not like any of these cards will be a surprise um, as of today. Um, hopefully some of you guys have watched my previous video which was actually a Pokemon opening of uh, premium. Um, but as of today, it looks like these uh, premium collections are kind of sitting at the 188, 200 range. Uh, if you start factoring in tax. Okay, so there is a difference here. You can see that this is a little shiny, right? Um, the boxes themselves are very similar. Okay. In fact, besides the fact that the UPCs are different, um, they look almost the same. It's like, you have to open it to kind of see that this is foil and uh, this is not foil. So that's just a side by side. All right, let's go ahead and open up and take a peek at the cards. Hey, look, look at this. There are no print lines. Wow, that's amazing. That's actually really, really impressive. All right, we have our Freylies, our Omnath. Same thing, no print lines. This is so exciting. Our Bane of Progress, Seedborn Muse, Sylvan Library, Worldly Tutor. All right. Ah, yes, I can tell. I really, really appreciate it. This is the card. This is the card that got everyone excited about this set. I think it's, you know, just a really fun set because of reprints like Worldly Tutor. Soul Ring, beautiful. Also, the cover art and a foil command tower. All right, that's just the opening of the video. Um, I want to talk about part two of this video, which is actually just some of my thoughts on a collection like this, a product like this. Um, look, my first thoughts when this was when this was revealed was this is so nice. Like these are some reprints that are really fun and people really want them. For example, Worldly Tutor. This is a really cool art for Sil Sylvan Library. Um, I like it. As I'm saying it, these are starting to pringle up already. Could be because of the humidity in my place. <laughs> Seedborn Muse, this alt art is just amazing. I mean, look at that. Who doesn't like this kind of stuff? But uh, quickly, I started realizing, wait, if this is gonna be a WPN premium only product, um, while that's a good thing, that means that this, the prices of this will skyrocket. And I, kind of have seen that already. We've seen these in the 300 range at one point. Um, not exactly the best. We've also seen these kind of slowly drop. And I think one of the things is, you know, 
no one no one just it's just incredibly unrealistic to expect people to pay $300 for something like this um when cost basis for stores is like in the 40s no 50th range I think for the foil version so I had a lot of people ask me about this product and I was pretty candid in saying that like just wait and I think actually to be honest with you all there's still unsold inventory of this stuff and since the singles of these cards um you know at first I, I think they were like $500 value if you had sold if you had these singles and were able to sell in TCG with no one else selling them at the same time but that's quickly changed right like a lot of these cards have really really dropped in their value as singles and that had to have been expected right like a lot of people open this and they're like we don't need every single card and not everyone you know needs every single card and so a lot of these end up on the free market on your tcg players and whatever and um another thing is i can't tell if it was wpm stores being greedy and not selling out their entire stock or just getting more stock than they anticipated but i'm seeing more and more of these kind of pop up on tcg player and it could be you know there's some shipping delays some wpm premium stores got them later and they weren't able to sell them okay um but regardless of the situations this product has really been one of those frustrating products for a lot of players um i think that i remember seeing before these cards were spoiled i remember seeing the pre-orders for these at 79.99 which if there was an msrp that might have been the recommended one um but uh, you know, that's just like, you're just never gonna see that $79.99 price again, unless you just have a really, really nice local game store. Um, one of the things I've seen that some stores have been doing is they've been doing something like in-store pickup only. You can, on you can only order this if you are actually physically able to go into the store. And that prevents, you know, your online retailer, resellers, your scalpers, quote unquote. And I think that's a really good thing. That's, that's a good direction that w uh, local game stores can go because they can create this loyalty and also creates you know this idea of a uh, store uh, people coming into the store right gives you incentives to buy other things potentially support the store other ways and it's just a good feeling you know my LGS has my back they're not gonna sell this product at triple the price that um, they paid for it or quadruple just be just because um, they can't um, just because the internet dictates that market but I also don't blame the stores that do that because you don't really get a lot of this type of product all the time. Opportunities like this don't exist every single month. It's like a once and a quarter, once and a half year type of thing. And being able to make a little bit more money, get a little bit more rent, pay your employees a little bit better, pay yourself a little bit better for working hard. Like no hard feelings there either. Um, this is what it is. It's the product that has caused it. And um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's worth as much as someone is willing to pay. All right. So that's my spiel on these Commander Green, uh, Commander Collection Greens. I hope that if they do it again, uh, Wizards does it again, I hope they execute it slightly differently. From an aesthetic and design perspective, I really wish that they were, these were actually full arts. Um, I'm surprised that they're not full arts. I think that uh, full arts are kind of the future, honestly. Um, a lot of people do prefer these frames, so maybe having the choice. Like, can you imagine what an extended art foil worldly tutor is or just an, an alternate art foil like the borderless versions from core 2021 i mean those are just really good directions to go it's not that i need to tell wizards this they already know guys it's been a blast having you guys um i hope you check out my previous video which was a command oh, pokemon uh premium collection opening it does have a good way let's sh show that pack off again it is a pokemon pack so if you don't know what that is go check out that video um I have another video link up here where I do open some of these and I talk about it. It's kind of my favorite thing to open right now. And I want to share that with you guys with the giveaway. So that being said, guys, I'll see you on the next one.